Ash Barty versus Carolina Pliskova is the ladies' final for Wimbledon for 2021. And both players have been very impressive to reach their first final at Wimbledon. Pliskova entered the tournament as the number eight seed and will take on the semi finals of the French Open, Zedinshek, in the first round. And after a tight first set, Pliskova got through in straight sets 7 5, 6 4. In that first round match, Pliskova served 10 aces and the four double faults, hitting 26 winners and 24 errors. But when she got her first serve in, she won 82% of the time. So she was serving big and she was getting a lot of points from that. And also, she converted all her break points, three out of three, and she saved four out of the five break points she faced on her own serve. Her second round was against a good grass court player in Vekic, but it didn't seem to bother Pliskova as she won in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2. In this match, Pliskova played amazing. She was playing so well in this second round. She hit five aces and four double faults, but the winners on the ground strokes, 23 winners, seven unforced errors, only losing two points on her first serve and converting four of 11 break points and not facing any break points on her own serve. Her third round opponent was against another Czech, a fellow Czech, Martin Kova. And again, Pliskova wasn't bothered, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. This match would be Pliskova's toughest test so far in the tournament, with playing not at the best she's played, hitting a lot of double faults, seven aces, nine double faults, and the errors were flowing as well. Even though it was a straight sets win, Pliskova wasn't playing well in this match. 30 winners, 36 unforced errors on the ground strokes as well. And she only won 40% of the second serve points. So she was getting attacked when she missed her first serve, but she won four out of 12 break points, which got her the win and she saved seven out of the eight break points faced against her own serve. Her fourth round opponent was against the wild card and a very informed player on the grass in Samsonova who had actually won a WTA 500 event on the grass courts leading into Wimbledon. But again, Pliskova didn't seem to worry about this as she won in straight sets, demolishing the Russian 6-2, 6-3. Against Samsonova, again, the serve just wasn't there for Pliskova. She was serving well at big points, but she wasn't serving well overall. Hitting a lot of double faults, 10 aces and six double faults in this one. Also hitting 17 winners and 19 unforced errors. So again, wasn't playing great on the ground strokes either, but she was winning 83% of the points when she got her first serve in and converted four out of the six break points that she got while saving four out of the five break points that she faced against her own serve. So again, she was serving big when she needed it most. Her quarterfinal opponent was against the Swiss Golubic. And again, Pliskova just demolishing her opponent in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2. Her quarterfinal was much better, even though the scoreline was one-sided. She was serving a little bit better and playing a little bit better than the previous rounds. Eight aces, three double faults to go with 28 winners and 19 unforced errors. And she only lost six points on her first serve when she got it in. So it just shows how big a weapon that was during the quarterfinals. She also converted four out of the 10 break points that she got while having three break points against her own serve, saving all of them. In her semi-final, she'd take on the number two seed and fellow big hitter, Arena Sabalenka. And after going down in the first set, losing her first set for the week, Pushkova rebounded and came back to win in three, five, seven, six, four, six, four, to reach her first Wimbledon final. The semi-final was by far Pliskova's best match. Even though it was the first time she lost a set during the tournament, she played the best match she could have played for the entire tournament. 14 aces, only four double faults, with 32 winners, 17 unforced errors. So the most winners she's hit and the least unforced errors she's hit for a long time. And even though she only converted two out of the 10 break points that she faced, she only faced one break point against her own serve. She didn't save that break point. It was actually set point in the first set. But after the first set, she didn't give Sabalenka a chance on the Pliskova serve. So Pliskova served very well, and she needs to do the same against Barty. Barty entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Suarez Navarro in the first round. And after dropping the second set, Barty would eventually win in three sets, 6-1, 6-7, 6-1. During that match, Barty actually hit 13 aces and only the three double faults. She also hit 38 winners and 36 errors compared to her opponents, 12 winners and 20 errors, and only lost seven points on her first serve when she got it in and converted all her break points that she got, five out of five. The second round opponent it was the Russian Blinkova. Barty showed no troubles here, winning in straight sets. 6-4, 6-3. Against Blinkova, she hit the five aces and nine double faults. So the serve wasn't quite there as it was in the first round. She hit 33 winners and 33 errors. So still starting to warm up her game and converted only six of the 15 break points she faced. So the conversion rate wasn't as good as it was in the first round. The third round opponent was the Czech, Siniakova. And again, Barty would prove why she's one of the favorites to win this event. Getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 7-5. In her third round, she hit eight aces and no double faults. So the serving was getting better along with 26 wins winners and 23 errors. So still a lot of errors for Ash Barty and her conversion rate on break points was low, only converting four out of 13 break points, but she did come to the net 18 times and won 13 of those points. Her fourth round opponent was against the number 14 seed and French Open champion, Krajakova. And although the first set was tight, Barty would eventually put away a fellow French Open champion in straight sets. 7-5, 6-3. The serving in the fourth round for Barty still wasn't the best it had been with seven aces, five double faults, 
22 winners and 24 unforced errors. She did, however, convert a lot of break points, four out of seven that she faced. And Barty actually saved eight out of the 10 break points that she faced on her own serve. The quarterfinal opponent would be fellow Australian, Isla Tomjanovic. And after a bit of a hiccup in the second set, Barty would eventually win in straight sets, 6-1, 6-3. In the quarterfinals, it still wasn't the best serving. She hit five aces and four double faults. She hit 23 winners and 22 errors. So again, still not the best match she's played in the tournament, winning around 70% of the first serve points when she got that big first serve in. She converted six out of the 11 break points that she had. But when she came to the net, she won 86% of the time, winning six out of seven of the net points. In her semifinal, the world number one will take on 2018 Wimbledon champion, Angelique Kerber. And after winning the first set, she went down a break in the second, but rebounded to win in straight sets, 6-3, 7-6, to reach the final. The semifinals were by far Barty's best performance of the tournament. She played amazing in such a big match as well against such a great opponent. She served eight aces, four double faults, 38 winners, and only the 16 errors. So she played so well in such a big match, the best she's played in the entire tournament. And she only lost five points on her first serve when she got it in. She only had the five break points, but she converted two of those five while saving five out of the six break points that Kerber had against the Barty serve. These two have played seven times before with Barty leading the head-to-head 5-2 and having won their last three matches also. But the last time they played was in Stuttgart on the clay courts with it being a very close three-setter and Pliskova almost winning the third set. If Pliskova's going to win this one, she needs to play like she did against Sabalenka. Not give away chances on her serve. She only gave away the one break point on her serve against Sabalenka. So she needs to serve well and she needs to stay composed. It is a big final for her, but she has been to the Grand Slam final before at the US Open a few years ago. So she's got to keep composed and she has to make sure she serves well. Barty's going to win this final. She needs to make sure she keeps the variety. Come to the net, hit the volleys, and of course use that slice backhand to keep Pliskova moving side to side and keep the ball down low because Pliskova's a tall lady and she needs to keep the ball low to the Pliskova shots so that maybe Pliskova can make some errors. Both are competing in their first Wimbledon final and both have played Grand Slam finals before with Ash Barty of course winning her maiden Grand Slam final at the French Open a few years ago and Pushkiva having a US Open final to her name but I'm going to go with Ash Barty to win this one just based on the fact that she has won at this stage before and I think the variety might be a little bit too much for Pushkiva and we've seen in their head to head in the previous couple of years that Pushkiva has struggled against Barty's game so I'm going to go with Ash Barty let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win the Wimbledon final